Hi guys, welcome to another Chama Valley Maths uh, tutorial. It's Mr. Gordon here and we're looking at the AQA um, Level 3 Certificate in Mathematical Studies, or better known to us as Core Maths. This is the practice paper that was issued in 2016. We're going to have a quick look at um, one of the questions, question 4 from paper 1. Um, this one is about income tax and national insurance and it's asking you to use the preliminary material. Now what I've done is I've cut the relevant pieces of that preliminary material here for us. So we need the income tax um, bands and we need the national insurance um, table as well. So let's go back and look at the question. So it says Stefan is training to be a teacher. Um, he has no student loan and his bursary is currently at £25,000 for one year. Um, as it is a bursary, he does not pay tax or national insurance or have any other deductions. Very nice. Um, he says when he's going to start teaching, his first job in April um, is only going to pay him £22,000 and 23, sorry, 22,023 uh, pounds. And he's suggesting that with his personal tax allowance of um, 10,600, he says his net pay is going to decrease by more than 500 pounds a month. So we're trying to find out after he pays tax and his national insurance on his wage, Will he be £500 worse off every single month? So what's he earning at the moment? I mean, we're looking at, he's got £25,000 um, £25, up here. What is his uh, monthly wage, if you like, at the moment? How much is he, can he spend a month from that amount? So let's get the calculator up. And we're just going to do 25000 too much there, that'd be a nice wage. 25,000, divide that by 12, and make a note of how much that is. So we're looking at um, 2,083 pounds 30 pence. So I'm just gonna write that up here, make a note of that. So we've got 2,083 pounds 30 pence. And we'll leave that up there to compare to uh, later in the question. Okay, so that's how much he's earning a month on his bursary. Um, let's try and work out how much he gets when he's actually paying tax and national insurance. So first thing we want to do, let's work out the uh, the tax deductions. So we'll start by thinking about, well, how much income tax is he going to pay on his wage of £22,023? So we know he's got a, a tax allowance of 10,600, that part here, and that means that he's going to get 10,600 free. He's not going to have to pay any tax on that 10,600. So let's take that off straight away so we can work out what is his actual taxable income. Okay, so if we do that, obviously it's calculator paper, so I'm encouraging you to check everything you do with the calculator. Um, so let's put it in. We've got 22,023 minus our, ten, our personal tax allowance of 10,600. And this is going to tell us our taxable income. So we have only got um, £11,423 left. That is taxable. So let's write that down here. 11, 4, 2, 3. And that's what can be taxed by the government from our wage packet. Okay, so what is the rate? So let's write this back down here. If we've got 11,423, let's go to our preliminary material and have a look. Now, this table up here, the tax table, has already taken off the 10,600. Okay, so we can go straight into this. Now, obviously, from zero up to 11, no, sorry, from zero up to 31,785 taxable income, the taxable part, we've got 11,000 um, in this first bracket here at 20%. So we're going to have to pay 
on that 11,000. So let's go back and work out what is 20%. So when you're trying to work out 20% on your calculator, you need the multiplier for 20%. If you want to work that out, we can do that at the side. If you divide any percentage by 100, you will get the multiplier. So we know that's going to be 0.2. So if we times this by 0.2, we should be able to work out the tax that we need to take off. So let's times this by uh, 0.2. And that gives us... Um, £2,284.60. So £2,284.60. That is what we're going to take off for our tax. So let's just quickly put that in the box. That is a deduction that's going to come off. Now let's move on to working out the um, the income tax. No, sorry, we've done that. National insurance. The national insurance deduction. Okay, that's the tax up there. This is the national insurance. So again, we're talking about um, start with our. Oh, so the computer's playing up today. Ignore anything that pops up. Try and get rid of it as quick as I can. Start with the wage again. Start with the full amount of our wage. How much do we get on the um, national insurance front that we don't have to pay any national insurance on? Well, let's look at the table. We were talking about a yearly income, so we're, we're looking at this section here, the yearly income. And if you think about it, we're paying 0% all the way up uh, up to £8,064. So we can take that off. That's not going to be affected by the national insurance. So let's take off that value. Um, so let's subtract 8064 And see what's left to um, tax. So let's clear this off. We've got 22000 and £23. Take off the £8,064. That's what we get for free, 0%. We're not paying anything up until that point. So that is, this is going to tell us what can um, be taxed with national insurance. So the amount that's left of our wage is 13, I'll write this up, £13,959 that the government can um, apply national insurance charge to. So if I write this back down here, so my pound sign seems to be getting worse and worse as I go through. What is the percentage rate for national insurance? How much do we have to actually pay on that amount? So we can see that with our 13,000, it's not going to, if we add it to the 8,000, um, and 64. It's not going to go above 42,000. Now, I hope you can clearly see that if you add our 13 to that, we only ever reach 22,023 pounds. So we're going to be within this bracket here. We're going to be within this band here. And that's charged at 12%. So let's go back. Remember what I said about finding um, the multiplier divided by 100, or well, 12 divided by 100 is going to be 0 0.12. Okay, that's the multiplier for 12%. Calculator times by 0.12. And hopefully that should tell us how much. So this is our national insurance deduction. And that comes out at um, 1,675 pounds and eight pence. Okay, they will not let you off the pennies. So that is another deduction. So we've got these two deductions that we need to take off our wage. Okay, so we're going to have to add these together. And what does that give us? So if we add those together, let's get the calculator up. We've already got the first one there. I'm going to add on the income tax. So 22, 84 pounds 60. Make sure that goes in correctly. And that should tell me that Total deductions are 395968. So 395968, that's our total deductions for national insurance and tax. Okay, so let's take that off 
um, our wage. So I'm just going to lock this off for a second. Let's draw a line across here. We're going to go through the marks there. Big question, eight marks. And I just want to go above here and start working out what that actually means. So, start with our wage. We had a wage of 22,000. Twenty-three pounds. We have to take off our tax, which is in total was three thousand nine hundred and fifty-nine pounds um, sixty-eight pence. So, what does that equal? Bring up the calculator. Let's see if we can do this swiftly. So, if I type in the uh, our salary, subtract. Now, we use the answer button previous answer and that will tell me that what I'm left with is in fact an income of 18,000 and 63 pounds 32 pence okay so that's how much I got for the year well how much is that a month so I need to divide that by 12 and that will give me my monthly monthly income Calculator, divide by 12, showing all my work in here, getting all the marks, and there we are, there's my actual monthly income, so that comes out at £1,505.28p. Um, Alright, so is he worse off? Well here's our monthly, let me highlight this in green for you. The figures to compare are the monthly income and the monthly income that we worked out previously. So is there a difference of 500? Well, just by looking at it, you can probably see that there is. So the answer is yes, he is worse off. But just, to be sure, let's just do it on a calculator to make sure. So we've got 2,083 pounds 30 pence. Okay, minus our previous answer, which was our monthly um, £1,505.28p. And it can, will show you quite clearly that that is how much we're worse off. We're actually £578 worse off. So, in true core cool maths fashion, we better write that somewhere. So, um, I would write it down. There's space to write it down. I've cut it off to fit it on the screen. So, I would write in the gap that you're left with... Um, he is worse off by five hundred and seventy eight pounds. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, maybe give the pence as well. I'm running out of space here, unfortunately. So, and then write that in a full sentence, okay? Because in core maths, it's important that we explain our answers. You must show you're working and you must write in sentences. As your conclusion. I hope that helps you guys get through that question. Um, check out the channel for some more core maths videos. Thanks.